Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Please be seated. Today in the church we celebrate the Sunday of the Holy Cross. This Sunday in Lent is set aside for the worship of the cross and what it represents. In the Gospel reading this morning, Christ makes it very clear that the cross, not only His cross, but our cross, is important. So important, in fact, that it means the difference between salvation and eternal separation from God. And he said to his disciples, whoever desires to come after me, let him deny himself. Let him deny himself and take up his cross and follow me. What does that mean? That means that the cross, the Christ as presented to us, each one of us separately, each one of us individually. We all have individual cross to bear. And the only way that we can bear that cross is to deny ourselves. Because if we say to ourselves, I'm not going to worry about it, I'm going to do what I want to do, I'm going to do what pleases me, and whatever I feel like doing, I'm going to do. Then we're not picking up the cross that each one of us has in our own life. We're not picking up that cross and carrying it forward in the name of Christ. Sometimes we know why, almost, why we have the cross that we have. Sometimes it's a fight within ourselves, uh, spiritual struggle. Sometimes we fight against alcohol or drugs or food or lust or whatever passion that may be. And that's a cross that we know it's part of us, it's something that is part of our passionate desires and yet it gets in the way of our being spiritually good, growing spiritually and doing with the will of God. So, we are called to take that, whatever that is, that passion, take that as our cross, to deal with it, to keep vigilance with it, overcome it, and bear it in the name of Jesus Christ. And He will give us strength. He said in the Scriptures that He would not give us something more than we can bear. But we each have something to bear. And so we take that particular cross and go forward. Sometimes, however, the cross that we bear, we don't understand why. We know it's there, but we're at a loss to explain why God would have put this cross in our life, or allowed this cross to be put in our life. And sometimes we don't get the answer in our life here on earth even though we pray constantly to God to 